Look around you. Where you are right now, as you're watching this, look around your house. There are tools you have you're not using that can actually fetch you a whole lot of funds. Forget about what people are saying. Don't listen to what people are saying. What people say about you or think about you is none of your business. Many entrepreneurs want to build a business at the same time feed from the business. It cannot work. In Lagos, but you know, you just get to do do something. Stop looking. Stop waiting for the manner to fall from heaven. If never you at any point think you have hundred percent strength. It's not possible. So as a bleeder, you focus on your strength hundred percent. Then your weakness, you get someone to fill it in. Now, the person you are bringing in, ensure that the person's weakness is your strength. You have to come with something to the table. So what are you coming with as a woman? What are you bringing? Is it your intellect? Is it your beauty? I don't know that. Beauty doesn't help anybody. If not, I'll be where Dangote is today. <laughs> If you are listening to me, don't try and sell what is not sellable if you don't have the funds to push it. Thank you for connecting with Simeon Ononobi today. Live sessions hold every Tuesday and, and Friday, Friday at, at 5, 5 p.m. Please turn on post notifications for live updates. Hello, welcome to Connect with Simeon. And as usual, I'm Simeon. Um, I can see you guys are really, really pumped up for today's um, 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 episode. I have a great guest, someone that I call a sister, a, 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 my personal entrepreneur, um, someone that has really, really like, um, you know, show me that it, it is possible once you're focused, and you're professional, and you understand what you're doing, everything is possible. Um, so I'm not going to give out a name yet until you all, you know, come into the room and, and watch this yourself because she's going to be exposing a lot of things and how she actually went from just being a regular professional to actually run the best. I, I'm not saying one of the best. I'm saying the best accounting pl uh, and platform for small, for small businesses in Nigeria. And she's de dealt with almost all kinds of um, businesses and she's still making it work, even within the COVID era. So um, last week, um, you guys saw what we did. Um, Chinonso was on fire on Tuesday, and today I am I'm gonna I, I am sure we're gonna be all on fire. So get your questions, drag your popcorn, sit down on your couch wherever you are, and you know enjoy yourself. Um, this is connected connect with Simeon Anunobi, and today I have the excellent. Shoma, Shoma, if I easy, yes, I'm gonna bring that into the room right now. Uh, yeah, Shoma, welcome to connect with Simeon. Thank you, Simeon. Thank you for having me. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Um, so this program is automatically dubbed, so it's gonna be going to YouTube and it's gonna stay there for about a year, so people can actually go back and, and you know refresh you know this um, video if you want to watch it. Go to connect with Simeon on YouTube. And you'll be able to get this video. Um, so yeah, we already have a lot of people running into the studios. Um, please, um, as usual, you could use the comment box, make your questions mm -hmm. available, and Chema will be able to deal with those questions as they come. So Chema, this program is as simple as it is. It's just telling it as it is. A lot of people don't believe um, that it is possible. Yes, they hear it. Yes, they go to church. Yes, they know these things mm -hmm. are said every day, but that believe that yes i can actually do it from nothing is really that um that um platform that we need to create so this program is all about telling you the truth bringing wonderful people like you into the studios to share your dream to your hustle to share how it is that 
yesterday Choma was just a staff. Today Choma owns uh, owns a faculty. I'll call it a faculty. I'll call it a school. Owns a faculty of accounting. Owns you know built her own place from the same hustle. She's running you know paying salaries to you know tens of I don't know if they are up to a hundred now people. She is serving companies. I know you served um, one of the largest airlines in Africa. You've served, you know, oil companies. You've served everybody down to even the guys, sell, the lady selling um, um, hair, uh, hair uh, extensions. You, you, you've served everybody. You even helped us at one point uh, when we were really confused about our business and all that. So you've done a lot of things. And right now, everybody is shutting down. Shoma is increasing. Like, <laughs> hey, what is happening? Like, you know, friends are calling me and saying, what is Shoma doing? What is different? What, what, what is it? It's not the same gear that started when, with no office and all that. Today, she's doing all this. Like, people don't believe. People think, oh, Shoma got one country, government contract. Or Shoma, Shoma knows one, you know, banker friend. Or Shoma did or Shoma that. Nobody believes it's really hustle. So we, it would be great to just hear your story. Where you started from, um, where the um, whole entrepreneurship thing started, and, you know, how you did it. You know, the floor is yours. I'm not going to interrupt you again. All right. Thank you, Simeon. So where did it start from? I had worked 11 years as an accountant, working in different places. Maybe one of the few things I did right, or two of the two, few things I did right was save a lot and work in different places. So very quickly, I went up the ladder, and I had a lot of experience. You can imagine working 11 years in eight places. So you're living here, you're joining here, you're living here, you're heading this, you're heading that, and then you're learning. And there was no place that I, there were no two places I worked that had the same, that were in the same industry. So from banking to Jumia to oil and gas, aviation, everything is also different. There was nothing that was, you know, in the same, it's not like from Fidelity Bank to GTB or anything like that. No, they were across different industries. So. I learned a lot. My experience is huge, cut across industries. And then um, in the last place, at the last place I worked before I started Accounting Hub, one of the things that made me start was um, working in a place and you feel, okay, I'm asking for too much money as my salary. How many more places am I going to keep asking for <laughs> this kind of salary? Like when you come for an interview, you're punting, you're looking at it from the staircase. Hmm. Are these people going to be able to afford what, what I'm about to call here now? You know, so it means that the more, the higher you earn, it's thinning out the number of companies that can actually afford to pay you that kind of salary. So I said to think to myself, why don't I have many people pay me that thing that I think I deserve, right? So if a lot of people could share in my brain and pay it, then it would make life easier. So I had a long transition journey. I took my time. It was clear for me that I was not going to leave if I didn't know what I was going to do. And I was not going to leave if I hadn't started making money from that business. So I started thinking about leaving in, in April and I quit in December. So that's like an eight month stretch of trying to leave full time employment. So you can imagine how prepared I was. I left in December. The business had made over two million Naira and I started the business in January. And I moved into an office February 1st. So I was ready. Like it was back to back being ready. And while, I even had, while you were still at your last place of work. Yes, while I was still at my last place of work, I even had a staff. I hired a staff. She was working from the library. There's a library in Lucky Face One in Lagos. I think it used to be as cheap as 10K for three months. So she would resume every day and be at the library. If she's working, if she has any questions, she can pop it up on Skype and I'll respond. During break, I'll drive out, go have one client meeting, close one deal. I just simply wrote out what I earn. Okay, I earn X amount. And I want to earn the same amount outside of this workplace. What do I need to do to get this amount outside of here? So let's say you earn 200,000 and you provide accounting services at 50K each. The math is simple. Four people give you that money, you've made that your salary. But because salary comes as one lump, Four people giving it to you at different random times can destabilize you. Okay, let's make it six people. That was just the simple logic I put to it. If six people give you this money, okay, then we are fine to leave here. <laughs> so I hit the ground running. If I can sign up my monthly clients and have them on a retainer plan, sign their contracts, 
have this girl learning to do the work. Then when I think that I have the salary, then I leave. And in eight months is what it was done. In all of that time, I was learning so much. Every time you come to the office, I was wearing headphones. In fact, when you come to that top floor where my office, and you scream, everybody around goes, shh, Choma is learning. <laughs> <laughs> I was always learning something, doing one certificate, something, learning, you know, listening to all sorts of things. It was at that time I bought a design course. I learned to do my social media designs. It was at that time I learned Sage accounting software. Everything I started business with, most of it was at that time I learned it. Because I understood that um, the path from full-time employment and business is so wide apart, right? So I guess that's it. That's how the transition happened. I had a lot of savings, and I keep saying it. In fact, last week I got a notification from Echo Bank on Okwebi Allen. I worked there in maybe 20, maybe 20, I don't know, 13 or, or 14, but I still have fixed deposit <laughs> investments there. That's how much savings I stacked up, ready to quit and um, you know, full-time career and start entrepreneurship. So I guess those were the two things I did right. Learn a lot, get a lot of experience, save a lot, and then I jumped into um, business. Getting into business, of course, ha, culture shock, ha. There's no 30-day salary ringing like bell. <laughs> Instead, you're the one ringing for others. But there was never a month that I was not profit, that the business was not profitable, never. Never a month that there was no salary to pay. I would almost say never a hard time, never. From day one, the clients were there, the job was there, back to back. In fact, from day one, we're drowning already because it looked like what we brought to the market, the market was waiting for it. So that's another thing. Do you have a market fit, a ready fit for the market? Are they waiting for you? Some people land in the market and it looks like, ah, ah, where have you been? And some people land and they are struggling to explain to the market the value that they bring. So the market was looking for that accountant that wasn't wearing jackets. That's accountant that could explain and connect differently. The playful and easygoing one. The Even accountant. The evil, the, the evil accountant. The one that could speak without saying any technical jargons. Like sound like you. Why can't accountants just sound like me and you? Just say, speak normally. Why does it have to be so the amortization? What does amortization <laughs> mean to me? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You know, so they, they needed somebody who could sound like that. And I could sound like them. I could relate. I could explain anything in very easy terms. So it was easy to, oh yeah, please take my account. Do it, do it, do it. And um, of course, I knew that using the power of storytelling, I could, you know, get very far quickly. So I lashed onto storytelling and began to tell my story. Nobody would tell your story if you don't tell it yourself. Yeah, so I started to tell my story, tell it, tell it. And then it started to resonate with a lot of people. I know thousands of people have come to love accounting because, I, <laughs> because I'm the one who's selling it, right? Yeah. People who said in their life, I hate numbers, I hate... And then they go like, it's not that bad after all. Yes, because they now understand it and they now like it. So that's it. One employee at a time, building gradually. This building where we are now, our own office, is our fourth or fifth office that we've moved in four years. We moved in here October last year where we built our own. So it's been, you know, growing the business to where we are today. Yeah, I mean... I know the story and, and it's something that um, I always like to tell because a lot of people don't know about it. And like I said, when I came to America um, and I came for a program in America and it was like, when you talk about Africa, like, mm. yeah, human beings there, are you sure? You know, so it's like, you take three hours trying to explain what mm. you'd have, yeah, taking you 10 seconds to explain because they don't believe it's possible. They don't believe... Somebody can even do accounting. They don't believe somebody can do legal stuff. They don't believe anything. It's like it's substandard, you know, and it's a general behavior, a belief. And that's why I want to put out this content to show that there are people actually doing it. Now, um, one question that a lot of people actually asked me then, which I want to bring up now, is there are other people. It wasn't just accounting help. I know so many people that came to me and I mean, go to Facebook and even the name Accounting Hub is like, it's no longer your own. Everybody is now using Accounting Hub services, Accounting Hub this, Accounting Hub that, trying to like copy you, which is one cool question I want to ask. How did you overcome that shock where you do something right, everybody wants to do exactly what you're doing? 
And on the flip side, you also had people that were accountants, were also doing something similar, but they just didn't make it. I, I, I mean, I, I don't want to mention names, but I know three or four of such services that will come to me and say, ah, what is Choma doing different? I said, I'll go ask her now. You know? <laughs> so the question is, what was that difference? I mean, people are listening today and saying, but I'm also an accountant. How can I get to that level? I'm also a, a doctor. How can I get to that level? Or I'm also a marketing executive. How can I get to that level where whatever I bring out, the market actually needs? Because every day, market, before you came out, markets have needed accountants forever. Absolutely. What was that different thing? What was, apart from the fact that, yes, you made it simple, you made it consumable, you made it, put, yeah, I mean, relatable, you know, people could, you could productize it. Because I know when you came to me, I said 50,000 a month. I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. That, that, that sounds right. You know, like I was already paying 250K for an accountant. And I'm like, oh, okay. Come on, but come on, but come on. But so it's like, what was that thing? Because other people came to me and I said, no. So what was that thing that made you different? Okay. So I'll say that um, I'm the one person who keeps asking what exactly works. Maybe others are not asking. People are doing what everybody's doing. I'm not. I'm the one who is doing what everybody's not doing. First of all, I'm a blue ocean strategist. So I look in the way that no one is looking. And I ask, why are you not looking in that? Why are we not looking in that way? So from day one, everything I do is different and original. I am not copying anything from anywhere. There's no copy and paste in accounting or if I think of an idea, it's an original. It's because there's a problem that needs to be solved. I look at it and I say, why is this thing like this? I start to question, why does it take eight months to deploy accounting software? What is so complicated in it? Why are consultants coming in and out of our office? The last place I worked, for 10 months, they were deploying. I joined in February, left in December, they were deploying. They were deploying. I with their laptop. And the guy, when the guy is there, I say, you're going? He say, yes. I say, okay. And I never could understand it. You know, so I'm the one who is questioning these things. Why does it have to be this? Why is it not 24 hours? Let's start from why is it not one month? Okay, now we're at one month. Can it be two weeks? Okay, can it be, you know, one week? Okay, why, why this thing now can be 24 hours? We have skill in it. Why is it taking so long? So I was that one person who keeps questioning the things that people... Wow, I think we just lost Shema. Um, <laughs> okay, she's back. I was at a client to set up accounting software during the week, and she was telling me how she had told her whole team that they were going to train for one week. Why would you train somebody for one week? <laughs> what would the person learn? He would almost not remember anything, anything in yeah. what you have said. Simeon, are you still on? Yeah, yes, I'm here. Okay. Yeah, so internet issues, sorry. So why would you train someone for one week? Those are the things I kept questioning. Like, this is too much. The guy won't remember anything. Why do you train one person on the entire accounting software when he only needs to do expenses? Why don't I teach you expenses in 30 minutes and we move on from there? You know, so that's essentially what I did. I'm just the one who is thinking new ideas, being original. I'm the one who is saying... The children in school who are failing accounting exams, why can't we make them to listen to accounting lectures? Why do they have to read textbooks? Why, you know, I'm the one who's asking the things that we live normally, you know? So I'm just probing and doing things differently and originally, I'm not copying it from anywhere. So I well, guess that's why <laughs> we just continue to grow. Like no, 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 no jargons, straightforward, you know, as clear as clear can be. So yeah, that, and then, of course, my background was from Jumia. I, I understood how to scale things. So I have a skill in understanding, okay, this thing, okay, we have done one. Can we do 10? Can we do 20? What of 100? So it was easy to scale things very well. Cool. Yeah, cool. Guys, um, you have Chioma live and direct for the, at least the next 15, 20 minutes. Bombard her with the questions you have been trying to... <laughs> once you, can, you have been saying, ah, do, ask the questions, 100,000 Naira, or, now you have it for free. <laughs> Ask the questions right now. So, um, so questions that came in before um, the program started was, I would love to ask Choma, how does she do it? How does she combine without breaking down? Does Choma go to a gym? Does Choma do everything every other person does? Because Choma is a mother, she's in church, she's at the office. 
<laughs> I mean, she's writing by 4 a.m. I think the other day I, I was talking to Shoma, it was like 3 a.m. Like, how does Shoma not lose focus? How does she not get tired? How does she not get, like, how does Shoma do it? Hmm. First of all, I think I'm married to someone who loves me deeply. So it helps a lot. It helps a whole lot. So some things that, <clears throat> first of all, people call problems are already settled. <laughs> so that, that, those ones are not an issue. Yes. And then about um, working around the clock, I think I trained myself and I became like that. I remember asking the same question to a friend. His name is Bukola Ubuntomini. We were in banking together and he started his own business. And I would see him dress up very well and be at the office at 8 a.m. And I say, why are you here at 8? Shebe, now you get this company. You can't sleep now. Why are you coming so early? And he said, when you have your own company, you would understand. So I think I quickly understood that. Even to run your own business, you need to be, uh, what's the word? You need to be upright. You need to show up. And let me tell you one secret I found out, Simeon. Everything you pay attention to grows. As we are talking here now, if we decide now that we want a thousand people to sign up for a program today or in one week, we will achieve it. If we pay attention to it, send emails, give them something free to download, do this, do that, we will achieve it. Anything you pay attention to grows. So I realized that if this thing was, if this door must open, I give it attention. If that door must open, give it attention. Just give it attention and keep hitting on it, it will open. So what happens is people hit on it a bit, they retire, the door doesn't open, you come back again and hit on it again. But if you hit on it, I remember sitting somewhere and one um, lady who was training with me, Chidima said to me, oh, madam, I've not seen you train. And I hear you're an amazing trainer. Tra do one training now that I'm around now. I said, hey, you want training? Say, hey, do one now. It's okay, training, we have it. We got paper, we wrote, <laughs> we wrote down the outline, put it up on Facebook. We had 120 signups. Wow. We paid the, the classroom capacity is 30. We paid four classes back to back. We now split it island and mainland class. Two classes on the island, two classes on the main. It was just something that we paid attention to. If I had not said come for training, nobody would come. But the mm -hmm. day you say come for training, you start planning, you make your slides, you put out publication, another publication, run ad, do this, focus attention. It will give way. Things will happen. So the question I ask people is, how much attention have you given that thing? Sitting at the airport before COVID, um, I went to speak for UBA in Onicha. At Asaba Airport, I met a man who was talking to me about my online courses. And he says, oh, how do you do it? I tried to sell courses to schools and it didn't, it didn't work. I said, what's the definition of didn't work exactly? He said, well, I approached three or four schools. They were not interested. I just felt we're not ready for it. I said, three or four? <laughs> Tell me about it. I'm about to approach a thousand. <laughs> Until I've done 10,000, then I'll come back and tell you it didn't work. And then he says, ah, that's a new definition of it didn't work. So what exactly are our definition of all is your definition of it didn't work? You think I have successes? Wait until I roll out my losses for you. Exactly. So when you have a hundred trials and 10 workouts, they think you have success. You don't know of the 90 failures right they don't know of those thoughts so that's it if you understand that you have to keep you know Put putting in effort in something yes so i'm not the one who's docile i'm the one who says this thing if i show up today show up tomorrow show up next week show up next two week this thing will give way so let's show yeah. up definitely yeah. so let's go <laughs> yeah. so i mean i'm gonna i'm gonna just steal it from you so so if you see it somewhere don't 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 uh don't sue me for copyright no so um Chema just said it just show up i mean just keep asking questions keep doing it four is not it's not even enough you know you never started some people have done it i was like you're doing four i say you have, you have done enough you know so you know so just pay attention guys start asking your question i know you are amazed i, I keep seeing wow keep seeing hey thumbs up yeah i know you are amazed ask the question don't be don't be stro uh, starstruck or how do they put it don't be starstruck ask the question <laughs> You know, so so um yeah, I mean I remember the days where Chema would call me up and say, I'm going for a meeting. I'm like, does Chema know that she is a professional that is bigger than you know some of us sometimes? You just you just ask as if you know, and we would go through things, and I'm like, you know, funny enough, I was actually learning a lot of things then. 
So it wasn't just giving, I was also learning. How do you, how are you patient? How can you listen to people? How can you give people raw? Because that's what I've even learned here. You will speak and speak and speak. The person will tell you, um, but I didn't understand anything you just said. And you're like, shit. You mean for the past 30 minutes I've been talking, you didn't hear anything. Then, like, you've been talking in languages that, you know, I don't understand. Can you just make it like as simple as possible? So you're like, oh, that's one of the key problems. We, all of us are those that want to drive big car before we even start, you know. I mean, you had a lot of friends in Jumia. Hmm. And you know the kind of cars you are driving and the kind of things <laughs> you are doing and all that. And you're like, Shoma, you came from that background where you were earning comfortably. You didn't think of, you know, uh, buying yourself a great car, you know, doing this stuff and doing that stuff. Even when you were going to buy a house, you took it, you know, where you were comfortable enough to make sure, teach these things. Like, let us hear that mindset. Like, it's not a common mindset for a black Nigerian woman that has money in the accounts. It's not. Once you have, uh, how, do you, how does the video call it, 30 billion, you don't just do certain things. You do it in a separate kind of way. You can't be, you can't be working for the biggest aviation company in the country and you're not living in Banana Island, in quotes. Mm -hmm. How do you think of, you know, wait, there's a time for this? Mm -hmm. Because I see that's focus. How do you actually focus? Like, it's like, it's like, uh, how do you put it? A lion trying to get a prey and you just focus and your your precision is like, no, this is where I am. Forget everything that's passing. Let's go for this one, you know. How do you, how do you maintain focus? I think maybe it's a natural thing. I'm not sure that I had to practice it a lot. I have always been like this. So I'm the one that even if I have a billion, I'm not going to change. I'm not going to look any richer. I'll look normal. <laughs> By the no, way, but, I still but, but normal is not the, rich, the new rich. Normal is not the new rich. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I still drive the car that you know, Simeon. So, <laughs> so I think it's just me. Yes, maybe again, growing up in the north, there's something about being very conservative. If you grew up in the north, so I grew up in Joss. So maybe we're very conservative people, but honestly, I never had to practice it. Yeah, so, and then from day one, I knew where I was going. There was a clear-cut separation between me and Accounting Hub. I earn my salary like anyone else, like any staff does. I, um, I get excited about, oh, they, they've paid. A few weeks ago, we said doing a thank God is Friday. On Friday, everybody gets 2,000 Naira. The first Friday, they didn't pay my own. I sent a text to the girl that, please, where's my 2,000 <laughs> Because <laughs> where's my own two thousand? Can you please send my own? Because yeah. I, it's easy to forget that way too. That's actually your staff, not just the boss. Yes, yeah, so please, can you send my own? And then they start paying me from the next week. By the way, they've not even paid me that first one. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody yeah. said, Chioma, how do you go about writing your ebooks and selling them in a Jiffy? Because I, I mean, I'm going to add a, 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 a an extension to this question because yeah. I hear Chioma says. Fashion people, we're going to have a, a blah, blah, blah. Next thing, I see bombardment of, you know, <laughs> messages, emails, Facebook posts, Instagram posts. Like, it follows me everywhere. Every time I open it, it follows me everywhere. You know, and I'm like, how do you, I know you learned it because you keep telling, you know, telling the story about, I learned this stuff, I learned this stuff. But there's one thing learning, execution is another thing. How do you execute so perfectly? If you don't execute execute ruthlessly, you don't you don't get the results that you want. It's ruthless or nothing. I leave no stones unturned. If I want to sell something, I go ruthless. The fashion course you're talking about, my target was a hundred people to make one million naira. I hit a hundred and thirteen people and made over one point seven million, right? Because some people took some upsells along with it, right? They didn't just buy uh, that course. So um, what I find is that people say they want something, but they are not ready to execute. I would want that thing. I would have a checklist. I would tick it out. An extensive checklist, by the way. Make post on day one. Do this on day two. Give them freebie on day three. Day four, do this. That is, that is clear, crystal clear. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Breakdown of how I'm going to achieve that thing. And I continue to roll out that thing until it's done. 
for me, everything is a campaign. You know what campaign is? You know how you want to put a <laughs> put a governor? It's campaign from t-shirts to face cap to banner to to <laughs> to everything. dancing on the streets is a campaign. So everything is a rollout of a campaign. <laughs> and by the time you roll out a campaign, of course you'll get it. But somebody else says, I want to do the same training. And you don't want to do a campaign. You want to print only t-shirts. And you think you will have the same result as me that I rolled out the drums and <laughs> rolled out an entire campaign. It's not possible. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so that's it. If you see the page, the sales page I used in selling the fashion course, there were like 20 reviews. Wow. So I went through my phone, reviews that people had sent, screen grab it, edit, paste it, you know, just to show you that I'm a good instructor. Because there were people who were buying, that were meeting me for the first time. Yes. Remember that it takes at least seven to eight touch points for somebody to buy from you. So some people are meeting me for the first time today. This is one touch point. I have six or seven more times to touch them before they buy from me. I never forget that. So every time I come somewhere, I show up, it can be somebody's first touch point. I owe you seven or more touch points to convince you to buy. So I roll out my campaign. <laughs> I'm wow. chasing around. <laughs> and wow. you know, so we keep thinking that the first day customers is us come and buy. No, when I meet you, first touch points. Don't worry. I owe you seven. <laughs> and that seven better come in different ways. Definitely. It's a, it's a you know, it's something, it's a sales page, it's an ebook, is that it must be different ways. It's me speaking, it's business advice. I owe you seven or more touch points before you decide to give me 1,000 naira of your money. I know I have that crystal clear in my head. Wow. How many, you people, heard it? how many people are ready to touch somebody seven times or eight times to collect 1,000 naira? Wow. You touch once, you make one boring advert, you say we should buy. And then you say we're not buying. Exactly. Honestly. Treasure, you heard that too. Ah. <laughs> This is this is this is this is something. I, I mean, I, I, you can only you, you can't get this from from the book. You, it, it, this is just you know you need to learn. Yes, Chukemeka, learn this. Um, my team is also watching this, and they are they know me very well. If they don't give, they don't give me back to back without you know what they learned from this. So the idea is seven to eight times, guys. That's a new one. Seven to eight times before the person actually agrees to give you one thousand, guy. Don't be eyeing the person. 10,000. First, I 1,000. And to do that, 1,000, seven to eight times. Mm -hmm. so guys, learn it. Have so, you ever run Facebook ads? Do you see the result from warm audience? Why? Because the touch points are a lot. Wow. The touch points. Do you know how many times you saw that ad before you responded? Even you, unconsciously. Before you keep saying, what's this thing that they are always showing? It's more than 10 touch points before you even recognize that you had seen that ad. You see an ad once, twice, it's like breeze. You didn't see anything. Yeah. It takes, yes, before you, you know, you remember it. So that's the same way everybody functions. So you Guys, need to put a lot of touch points. This is the reason why I'm doing this program. I'm bringing wonderful people. Guys, you will still, still, still start paying very, very well because their time is not this easy. So, yes, guys, that is one thing you should keep enshrined. Shoma says it. Shoma and you remember, it's Choma Business School of Lessons. Oh. So remember, Choma says it seven to eight times before you earn a thousand naira. Let me put it in dollars. Before you earn two dollars, seven to eight times before the person says, you know, let me just pay this two dollars and forget it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. So uh, Aisha says, what is your, what is your advice for creating irresist irresistible offers? Get the customer to think that they are cheating me. Simple. Wow. Until the customer thinks that you have, have cheated these people. Odogu. Shy. Odogu. So I throw it out. I say, God, I've cheated these people. Shy. Odogu. The there, they gave me four books. Odogu. Don't throw it out yet. Please. If, if, if my team members are there, write that down. Until the customer feels that they are cheating us. <laughs> that is when you have an irresistible offer. Yes, that's when you have an irresistible Write it down, please. Until the customer thinks Aisha or Babi, on this is free. You didn't pay a hundred thousand to hear it. Until the customer thinks that they are cheating you. Yes. You don't have an existing offer. I have a one thousand naira ebook selling. It's one thousand. It has three bonuses to it. 
you get a tax template, you get two other ebooks. It's cheating now. They feel they are cheating me. <laughs> so 1,000 is just a beg. For that, so so you know, that mind. Mara ebook sells 60 copies. That's what I'm saying. Just give her before she changes her mind. If I change her mind, I'm making 4,000. Oh. What, what <laughs> thinking right now? So let's just pay her. People write to you and say, please, is this, is this, is this still on? <laughs> they don't believe it. Is this still on? They write just please, is this because it's unbelievable? It looks like it's going away soon. Is it still on? Can, can I still get it? I said, go ahead, go ahead and get it. Yes. Wow, it, it is mind blowing. It is fantabulous. Um, I'm seeing different different statements here. So I'm an I'm an employee and still building a business a service business. What advice do you have for someone in that scenario to be successful in the business alongside doing a well paid job? I think I have shared my advice. Two things I did right. Prepare very well for the journey of entrepreneurship is an extremely lonely journey. The number of decisions that you have to take in a day are mind blowing. Yesterday in my office, I had a staff crying. His family was about to be thrown out, no house. Imagine such emotional things. I even cry in the office. The other week, my staff, his sister drank sniper and killed herself. Like, so there's, the decisions are not just business decisions. There's so much going on emotional and business going on so it's a very lonely journey and there's nobody to take those decisions for you everybody sitting there saying madam said madam said madam did not madam did <laughs> they don't even realize there's one head that's supposed to be doing everybody just expects the decisions to be rolling out and they had better make sense you had better have the, have the wisdom of solomon that's all they care so please amaka ife bunandu my advice for you is be crystal clear what you want to do now that you are still in paid employment. I was crystal clear. Accounting hub was clear. The vision was clear. I knew what I was going to do. I, second, remember, I remember those office visits. <laughs> the second thing is please have good savings so that because entrepreneurship, the money, doesn't, the money doesn't come like when you're working, right? I hope that you're saving up. The saving system I used was I was doing fixed deposits every month. So sometimes I do 100 a month, some 200 a month. I was addicted to fixed deposits. I was just, I had a file with fixed deposit certificates in it. Every month, the bankers would pick up the check, fix it, give me a certificate. I had a file with it. And I still do it even now in Accounting Hub. Every month, Accounting Hub funds go and get fixed instead of sitting in the, in the bank doing nothing, right? So that's what I advise for you. Be clear on what you want to do. That's what many employees are not clear on. They want entrepreneurship, but they're not quite clear what they want to do. Be crystal clear and save along. And then transition gradually. Mm -hmm. I, I explained my transition journey. Yeah. I was already a SAGE qualified accountant before I even resigned. I had done my SAGE exams, my certifications. I was clear on where I was going. I had made over $2 million before I resigned, right? So it was clear. In January, after I resigned in 2015, in 2016, when the Tony Elumelu Entrepreneurship Forum was open, I applied, I got in, I was clear, right? Business plan, I wrote, trashed it, because I was clear. If you're not clear, you can't write a business plan that would win. If you're not clear, you can't make money. If you're not clear, you can't hire somebody because you're not quite sure. Be focused and be clear on what exactly you want to do and what you want to achieve and hit on it. Remember, ruthless execution. Leave nothing to chances. <laughs> Execute and they'll be wondering what is wrong. Like my mother could almost say, What is this accounting of madness? <laughs> yes, I was ruthless in execution. I still are. Your due fee might even be written accounting hub, <laughs> Even my kids know accounting, they know the logo, they know the that's how, my house help, my cleaner. You mommy, know, mommy, imagine, mommy, 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 that thing looks like that thing called Colo. You know, that's that. The cleaner of my office will be telling me how she saw a sales girl that stole madam. Say, hmm, come and see my madam before they steal everything you have. <laughs> <laughs> like the cleaner is marketing for me. <laughs> that's how much Just execution. The passion penetrates everyone. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I, I mean, guys, yes, yes. Wow, wow, wow. This is loaded, man. I'm seeing a lot of, you know, one day says he's ambushing you here. So <laughs> I don't know what that means, but one day Ademola of uh, Founders Institute says he's, he's, he's ambushing you here. One wow. day you have a question for account for Chioma before she goes. If not, it's 100,000 to get that answer. So, <laughs> so you know, 
Um, so yeah, any other questions? Any other questions? Okay, so Chema, let's 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 go ahead. We have about 12 more minutes, so I can let you go on. I know you're very busy. Um, so if you were to advise, I mean you've given a lot of advice, and most of it stems from you learned a lot, you studied, you you chewed book, you chewed uh computers, you chewed everything you could chew. Do you think there's a room for um for mentorship do you think there's a room for getting advice from other people because it's as if all of us are actually learning so do you think there's real advice from coming from other people would you advise people to do that oh wow i never stopped paying for it i spent 10 days working with some damola guy he's a facebook a facebook ads expert learning to sell my online courses i didn't run ads until i, I was done with him Absolutely, there's room. To, why would you walk a journey that somebody else knows how to walk faster? If I tell you how to sell a 1,000 Naira ebook, it's magic. You just start selling it. It's magic. I know what I've, 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 <laughs> I've spent months trying to get there. So why struggle with it? Absolutely, there's room for mentorship. There are people who know exactly the way to hit on it. So don't waste your time. Just go and hit on it with them. Yes, okay. especially if the person is like, I'm a person of clarity. So if you ask me something is number one, do this. Number two, like that. Number three, don't do that. Number four, do it. So by the time I give you the checklist, it is <laughs> it's hit on it and win it. There's no two way about it, right? If you ask me to write a sales page that will sell 50K now, I know what to put on it. <laughs> cool. So, uh, Precious, I'm sorry you're just coming in, but okay. it's going to be on YouTube um, for at least a year. So you could always play it back. Um, you could, you know, store it somewhere and just learn from what it is because Choma has un unpacked a lot of things and she can't go back 30 minutes unpacking again. So, so if you have any questions, please. There's a question here from Uloma Obikere. She Ulo. says, what advice do you give an entrepreneur who has applied all the seven to eight touch points and is running out of cash to fund those touch points and is not getting commensurate re returns? Okay, so Uloma... There is a winning, there's a rule to everything. So every time I do something and it's not working, I'm asking myself, which rule have I not applied? Right? Which rule have I not applied? So first of all, I made online courses. I put it in the market. People rushed and bought it. After they bought it, the sales dropped. The sales wasn't happening every day. Right? Then I started asking people, how are you selling every day? If I go and write a post, they come and buy. I, but I can't continue to be writing posts. I want to be sleeping and be selling. Which rule have I not applied? They say, oh, it's funnel. Eh, it's funnel. I built funnel. The funnel did not sell. Okay, what rule again? Now, you say it's funnel. I've done funnel. Then I said, in fact, I realized that even the, my coach, there were rules my coach did not know. From even the way you, the topic of the course to what you put in the funnel. There were different things that I didn't know. So the fact that you have applied seven to eight touch points doesn't mean you have applied the right touch points. Mm -hmm. You may have missed out what is right. I see people trying to sell a book or a course. So they made flyer. They created a sales page. But in that sales page, there's nothing about their resume. You will not sell. People connect with you. They want to know that you're a subject, you're, you're the authority in that thing. So yes, the touch points are there, but have you ticked all the right boxes? This morning, I made a post on Facebook saying that there's a checklist to everything. The success of anything, there's a checklist. The problem is there is no place to get that checklist all in one. You struggle to put together the checklist. And there's no place that you just go and say, give me the perfect checklist to launching a book that 100 people will buy in one week. There's no place like that. You will struggle, struggle, put this in it, put that in it, right? So it was a few weeks ago I found out that when you want to sell something to people who don't know you, you need to show a ton of reviews from people who have purchased that thing. So I had to do a class and deliberately ask for, ask for reviews. In fact, I did not just ask them to give me reviews. There was a slide where I explained how I want the review. Tell me, will you recommend this to another person? <laughs> okay, <laughs> great. This, this is the same thing you just said because this exactly. one, you cost me, 
they told me to go to this page and, and review my mm -hmm. this. <laughs> with the right. my head. So I, I told them how I wanted the review. Tell me, did you enjoy it? What did you like? Is it the teaching style? Will you recommend it to another person? Can you include pictures of your notes? Like I, I channeled their minds in the way I wanted the review. And guess what? With that review, it is back-to-back -back selling. How can you see something that 100 people said is wonderful and you will not buy? Are you a spirit? <laughs> what again do you want to hear? 100 mm -hmm. people said this thing is wonderful. What again do you want to hear? True. I don't know if you are that. So maybe the touch point, one touch point, you're, you're using the wrong things in the touch point. So to her, maybe a touch point is create five Facebook ads. That's five touch points for them. No. And again, another thing you have to realize, Uloma, is you, you cannot measure everybody's touch point. Today, some people are meeting me for the first time. This is when their own one started counting. So every time or every opportunity that somebody meets you or your business is a touch point. Every opportunity is somebody's first touch point. And some this can be their eighth touch point. <laughs> yeah, some this their eighth, some this their first. So every time you have to put up the best. You don't know the one that is my first or yes. So you can't say I've done eight touch points. No, you're doing it. So you can do a million touch points and one person has, has there are millions of people that have never heard of accounting of, do you know? They have zero touch points. <laughs> And I can imagine asking the question, but I've done eight touch points. Sis, I've done a billion touch points. They've not heard, <laughs> <laughs> They've not heard yet. <laughs> I mean, this is this is this is amazing. I mean, I, I mean, guys, learn this because I'm also using my business and it's working for me. Get reviews, get guys to deliberately. I'm telling you, I went to a place, they forced me before I left the door. Bros, can you go to your uh, your mobile app? Can you scan this on your? Uh, oh, can you? Uh, no, I'll do it for you until I review. Oh, it's a lovely place. I know it's a lovely place, but can you write it on Google? <laughs> go to Google and write that it's a lovely place. And thank you very much for coming. Next thing they show me to the door, they give me water, they do everything just so that I can review. Now it was making sense to me, but now it makes clearer sense. The reason is simple. If hundred people, if a thousand, because I just realized, I actually take that those decisions based on that. I'll buy a, 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 a laptop because 30 other people said it was great. One, one person says it's not great. I'm like, mm, what did this one person see that says it's not great? Let me figure it out first before I go and buy, you know, things like that. So, there you are. Guys, questions, oh, questions, oh. <laughs> questions, oh. this is 100,000 naira. Oh. Okay. Okay. Someone is asking. How, how do I pattern my pharmacy service practice? Oh, I missed like, that. Okay, yeah. How do I pattern my pharmacy practice? Like what you do with accounting practice, transforming services and making money from it. I guess it's being innovative. Mm -hmm. so, so it's being innovative. There are many things that um, people want to buy. One of the things, one of the ways to sell to a lot of people is to find that tiny thing that is a common ground in what you do. One of the ways to sell to a lot of people is to find that tiny thing that is a common ground to a lot of people. You may be a tailor, you make dresses for women, you have no business with men or anything, but the day you create a 2000 Naira course that says, learn to make a nice stay at home dress, then a man will buy for his wife. You have connected more people. Find the easy way to sell that little thing that connects to more people. So you run a pharmacy practice, you open your shop at Idumago, until the day I pass Idumago, I'll never buy from you. But the day that you make something that reaches to me, you talk about how to dispense drugs, how mothers can dispense drugs to kids at home, or something that is very universal, and turn it maybe into a digital product, then I'll buy. So keep asking yourself, what is that little thing in all of my consulting, all of myself, that little thing that can connect with many people. What is that little thing in me, in my business, that can connect with many people? It's very important. That's the reason I can sell one course and a thousand people will buy, 500 will buy. Because I keep going back to ask myself, what is that little thing that when I say it, 10,000 people feel, oh my God, she just spoke to us. But what happens to many of us is we are selling things that only five people want to buy. 
six people want to buy. These people on our streets are buying. What is that little thing? The day, if you're a tailor, the day you put up a post and sell men's shirts and shorts for stay at home or for something, many wives will buy. But if you just keep putting a tailor, we don't connect with it. So are you consciously thinking of that little thing you do that can connect to many people and make them to buy from you? Wow. I mean, I mean, it resonates with me. Like, you know, a, a, a client called us this morning, I sent an email this morning and said, you guys give services to NGO retail? I'm like, yeah. You start, how did you start? I'm like, we started with three. Now there are 77 locations. I'm like, are you guys are working for them? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Can you come and help, you know, do the same thing with my filling stations? And that's how we got, you know, these clients that, that just signed up with us to, you know, roll out our services across all his own filling stations. Just because he was with a, in a meeting with NGO, and Enyo said, we use this service for, you know, growing our business and all that. So, I mean, just look for a way for people to, you know, connect with you, tell your story for you, and also find a solution that can resonate around everybody. I can use Accounting Hub. You can use Accounting Hub. My younger sister that is running a car cleaner, cleaning shop can use Accounting Hub. The one that is selling clothes. So, the idea is Accounting Hub is not accounting packages. It's not... Oh. It's not accounting uh, uh, service. It's accounting as a service. So now it's like, you know, the same accounting you know, but not as a service. So instead of getting an accountant in the office, you get one accountant that is serving so many people and it becomes easy for you to do. So if you can do that in pharmacy, it will be great for you. Um, you can and you know, stay at home mom who probably buy an e-book on budgeting because she needs it for the home. Mm -hmm. But she, she doesn't have a business. She, she would never have bought a business a, anything from accounting or if I was only selling accounting services, she would say, oh, it's for SMEs. Yes, exactly. she would know, but she, I would still get something from her because I'll sell a book on budgeting. I'll sell a book on managing expenses. That's something true. that will connect with a wider audience that even the, the, the people, so it expands your target market. More people fall in and just keep buying. People who never thought they would buy, they would, ah, ah, 1,000, take a bag, take my money, Jare. I mean, <laughs> I get that your first money, I will get, yeah, will get everything. <laughs> <laughs> so and yeah, and just just to mention, yes, yeah, she grew up in the north. She's still an Igbo woman. So just know that. She's still <laughs> now, so um, any other any other questions? Because I need to let her go. I really really dragged her into this, and she actually takes um, time. She she charges for this thing. So please, if you have any other question, you have just about five under five minutes to go. I'm stretching it. Just about under five minutes to go so that we can wrap up. Um, if you're um, just to sell the service, we're, we've launched our platform and you can go to Thank You Cash. We're doing a lot of lovely stuff. Um, we're actually giving out a lot of things. We're helping people build businesses on the platform. And all this I'm going to be rolling from next week when we actually are fully live. And on Tuesday, I'll be giving shawarma for free from the shawarma place. They're going to be giving free shawarmas to as many people as I, I can uh, mention on that day. So download the Thank You Cash app and be ready. Any other questions? Did we miss any question? Did we miss any question? If we missed your question, please, can you repost it? Oh, you sent me a mail, sir. Sir or ma? <laughs> oh, to me? Um, which of my email? Okay, maybe you have my personal email. Don't post it here, but you know we can talk if you have my personal email. Don't post it here, so I so that I don't get. To, I don't, I don't, I don't, your question, Treasure was asking how I go about writing my eBooks and selling them in a Jiffy. So I always would pick a topic that is extremely universal to several people, and keep it simple. Keep the eBook engaging. Like I would write in large size, um, you know, fonts, put in some pictures, make it easy and nice. My model is to use um, low price point so that many people can buy it, can access it. If that, you don't have to use that model. That's my own model. So I write quickly because it's not a, um, what I say, it's not a big deal. Imagine you picking a topic that you're very comfortable with. Let's say you are a, you are a fashion designer and you, you want to write how to make a trouser. Like I'm sure you would write it in 10 minutes because you picked mm -hmm. something very simple. But the problem I find with people is when the topic is so broad, how to start, you know, something really broad. 
you know, <laughs> and so you struggle with it. But when you pick something simple that solves a problem, people are in a hurry to solve their problem, by the way. So I'm one person that believes that people don't even want to consume too much content to solve their problems. Yeah. I, I get attracted when I see, oh, this my course is 30 minutes, I'll buy. I, I can't deal with those people that say they have 39 videos for one course. So what are you talking? It's too much. So I keep it simple. I'm serious. People want solutions to their problems. No, so, people are, so, so people are, are, are trying to um, turn my hand behind to, to do certain things that I'm like, okay, I'm going to take it. So Some people say that as you force you to, to take on ment to, to take on mentees, I can oh, force Choma. The reason is simple. I know Choma is super busy and I know it's going to take her some time. Like I said, Choma calls me by 3 a.m., 4 a.m. So I know she's always super busy and it's going to be a bit difficult. But I'll, I'll see what we can do, you know, close doors. I'll see what we can do. I think that what the challenge is, is what people call mentoring is not actually not the way that I see it. So what people call mentoring is sit me down and be talking. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so you're able, you don't sit me down to talk. Nobody <laughs> wants to be talking. Go and hit the ground running. Yeah, yeah, go and hit the ground running. Get your results. Once, one, once or twice you have one question, there are many people who are ready to listen in on one question and they will provide answers. Yeah, but I mean, Sit down, honestly. Lillian, this is this is simple. I mean, if yeah, if you have Choma's direct, she will answer your question if she's if you're stuck. Don't don't be afraid. Huh? <laughs> be deliberate. Don't be afraid. She will answer your question if you're stuck. But and another thing I see with most people is this: when they ask you the first time and you're actually busy, they feel you're too big. So they feel like, oh no, he's acting like you know, no, uh, let me leave him. I'm like, okay, leave me now. Go and do your own thing. I mean, you think I don't have problems? I have my own issues to take care of. I'm telling but, you. Um, please, Chioma, how do you see Lenti Landing pages? I see a lot of people doing sales funnels also. Always. Okay. Um, Lenti Landing pages convert better than short landing pages. I learned that. So if you are able to write Lenti Landing pages, please write. But one thing, don't put any fluff in it. Let it all be quality talk i see people writing and uh, buy this book if you don't buy uh, the cost of failure is more I than beg you, i beg you not to bring that i told you on facebook chairman take what will be what will be don't go before, and before <laughs> i see inside some sales pages break my heart so when you want to write a sales page please make a checklist of what should be in it and let it not be fluff Number one, put a top banner with an engaging question. Number two, introduce to them what they're buying. Number three, give bonus. Number four, list out the content. Number five, put your resume. Let it be, there's not a fluff. Everything is real value. Number six, put in 10 reviews. Number seven, put in what they will get when they click and buy. Number eight, do some FAQs. Number five, nine, handle their objections. Like, be real, not fluff. Oh. I see this copywriting. People are now, when you finish reading a sales page, it's all coercing. There's no value. When I write a sales page, beginning to end, there's value. And I'm not a copywriter. So because of it, I don't even give copywriters to write for me. Because they're just coercing, coercing. You know, there's nothing really ahead. I have a format. I follow it. I follow my format. Do my FAQs. How long do I have access to this course? Can I watch it on my phone? Can I... Please, no fluff. Just write and sell nicely. No, if you don't buy, the price of failure is too deep. Can you imagine how many people have failed? Can you, that's too irrelevant. That's too fluff. Can you be just hit on proper content? Uh, tell me what the book will teach me. Tell me what it will reveal. Tell me, after doing this course, you will do this. If this happens, you know, just give me real things. No yeah. fluff. I agree. Honestly, I don't engage copywriters. The fluff is too much. I don't like it. I have my own checklist and I follow it. No single fluff. Every sentence is like, wow, wow, nice. There's no, uh, <laughs> they say the cost of failure. They say, mm -mm, I don't. <laughs> because there's a particular guy I know, because his sales pages are fluff, he, he uses the same sales pages to sell all products. Wow. So when he's marketing and you click, you read is the same things he used because it's fluff. It fits any product. 
why it doesn't fit any products because everything is real there's no fluff in it yeah. yeah there's no fluff so many times people have written to me i can write if you see the speed that i use in declining copywriter because it's fluff it's fluff they're going to give me coercing yeah. the problem. Um, I don't yeah, know. you guys have you guys have you guys have uh, overtaken um today oh, i didn't i didn't promise this I, i'm giving more than i promised but i mean i believe you guys have learned a lot choma you you're wonderful uh, you're my sister now you're wonderful. <laughs> you're wonderful um i knew you were gonna get here so it's not like it's it's a mistake i mean the first time i spoke to you i knew this babe <laughs> she's going somewhere you know so and I'm proud that Africa has you. I'm proud that Nigeria has you. Um, and I just pray that we can re replicate this continuously um, so that the bad name that we're, you know, we seem to get, this good name will cover it up. Because, I mean, you don't go to an embassy and people say, yeah, Nigeria. No, Nigeria will have trauma. Nigeria will have similar. Nigeria will have people that are normal also, you know, that are doing some good things. Thank you very much. Guys, um, that's the, the best we can take in questions because I need to let Choma go. Um, and I would see if down the road when I can get her time again and I have some questions I can bring her in for 10, five minutes question and answer. But for now, she has to go. Um, if you want to watch the movie, if you, f if you did not get the video, it's, it's on YouTube, connect with Simeon and Anobi, and you would get the video. It's episode 23, season one, and you can get the video. Um, and you can always watch it. If you have questions, send me an email. Chioma is available. She would answer your question. Um, shoot me an email, connect with Simeon at gmail.com, and you always get my attention. Send me an email, connect with Simeon at gmail.com, you'll get my attention. Chioma, thank you very, very much. One last, one last statement, just a sentence. Advice to everybody execute ruthlessly leave nothing to chances absolutely nothing everything is a campaign is a campaign you want a training to be successful roll out a campaign you want to sell that book roll out a campaign everything in your life in your business is a campaign you want to employ the best hands roll out a campaign everything is a campaign that's what i have to say thank you simeon thank you very very much uh, your questions are coming late. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> thank you, Choma. God bless you. you um, guys, that is um, um, a big thank you to Choma for coming into the house. Um, uh, I know, yeah, you know, she's been a family member. She's been a friend. The family knows her, loves her, and we're, we're, we're together. So and we're going to build Africa together. Thank you very much, Choma. God bless you. Thank you. Take care. Yeah, you too. So that was Choma Ifine Easy. The uh, you guys know now she was on fire. You you guys know she was she was she was on fire and and um, there's a lot to learn. There's there's a lot to learn. Um, we keep doing this. We keep um, you know Tuesdays, Fridays. We keep bringing wonderful people. Pick one, pick two. Tell your friends. Tell guys around. We don't have to be on Instagram looking for you know people that are um, uh, fraud stars or teaching you how to do different things. No, we can actually learn certain things and make ourselves better. And I'm not saying make Nigeria better. I'm not saying make Africa better. Make ourselves better. As one person makes the next person makes the next person makes, that's all we need. We, we can grow this thing. Even if it takes 10 years, 20 years, we can make ourselves great entrepreneurs, great staff, great people, and change the narrative. And that is what this is all about. It's changing the narrative. We are not frosters. We're not... Thieves, we're not uh, uh, imbeciles, we're not lazy youths. We are, we are very strong people. And we have wonderful people. Choma learned on her own. She, as she was growing, she was learning, she was talking to people, one or two advices here and there. And that's how you grow. So just like she said, execute ruthlessly. Don't leave anything to chance. Execute, execute. Don't leave anything to chance. Figure it out yourself and make sure. Um, she also spoke about how to make a winning product make the other person feel you are cheating them make the customer feel you are cheating them once they can feel that ah, they are getting this thing at a no price they would always win finally i have to talk about thank you cash thank you cash we just launched our new product we're helping businesses grow if you want your businesses to grow whether it's a pharmacy whether it's a restaurant whether it's an e-service please go to thankyoucash.com register as a merchant and somebody will reach out to you and see how we can help you grow your business. Today, we have over 300,000 customers that have passed through us. We've done over 800,000 transactions. So we do have that 
that mileage to it, be able to help your business grow. Um, we don't charge too much, um, but we would help you make sure that you can use what you have to get what you need. If you have only 100 customers, you can actually reach 1,000 customers. How do we do it? You know, go to thankyoucash.com and somebody will reach out to you. Send us an email, hello at thank you cash, and somebody will reach out to you to help you grow your business. And we will help you, definitely help you. Um, that is my last bit today. We were shot by about three, four minutes. But um, this, like I said, this video is going to be on YouTube. Uh, make sure you go to connect with Simeon on Nanobi on YouTube, and you can watch the um, video. And from um, pretty much next two weeks, my producer tells me we're going to be putting bite-sized um, videos of this. So we're going to be cutting out strategic um, parts of the video so that you can learn just by picking up bite sizes of, of, of each of the videos. And you can share it. Share it to people around you. Share it to entrepreneurs. Share it to staff. Let us start building Nigeria one step at a time. And that is me saying thank you. Thank you for connecting with me today. God bless you. And this is me saying ciao. Look around you, where you are right now, they're watching this, look around your house. There are tools you have you're not using that can actually fetch you a whole lot of funds. Forget about what people are saying. Don't listen to what people are saying. What people say about you or think about you is none of your business. Many entrepreneurs want to build a business at the same time feed from the business. It cannot work. In Lagos, but you know, you just get to do do something. Stop looking. Stop waiting for the manner to fall from heaven. If never you at any point think you have hundred percent strength. It's not possible. So as a bleeder, you focus on your strength hundred percent. Then your weakness, you get someone to fill it in. Now, the person you are bringing in, ensure that the person's weakness is your strength. You have to come with something to the table. So what are you coming with as a woman? What are you bringing? Is it your intellect? Is it your beauty? I don't know that. Beauty doesn't help anybody. If not, I'll be where Dangote is today. <laughs> If you are listening to me, don't try and sell what is not sellable if you don't have the funds to push it. Thank you for connecting with Simeon Ononobi today. Live sessions hold every Tuesday and Friday at 5 p.m. Please turn on post notifications for live updates.